Now I'm just going to show you how you can create or how you can set up group workspaces. It's really straightforward, so it's not going to I'm not going to take too long. So if we just jump back into our, our demo model here, group workspaces are looked after currently in this drop down section at the top here. So if we select the drop down like so, you'll see that a number of different group workspaces come up, and these are all the ones that I've created for my organisation. And I've got a range of different reports under each different group workspace. Just remember group workspaces are like your secured distribution mechanism. So you've got the online portal, but then you also want to be able to secure a whole range of different information that you might you might want to publish. You might have a management group that only wants to look at uh, that wants to look at everything, but then you might have a regional manager that is only allowed to look at information for their particular region, for example. So group workspaces is how you do it. To create a group workspace, we've got um, a plus button here. So if we add that in, uh, I click on that and call this, we'll call this uh, demo group. And then within this group workspace, you can make it private. So only the people that you invite can see it, or you can also make it public so anyone can see it. You can also allow people to edit or not edit. And then it's just a matter of adding uh, so in this case, we'll allow them to add, adding emails. So I'll just I can just add myself, adding emails to that particular uh, to this particular workspace, and then click add and then save. And then once you do that, once you do that, what will happen is that you will you will open up a new workspace. Uh, that uh, that whoever you've invited to can now access. And so you'll see here, when I click on demo group, I'm now in the demo group workspace, but I actually have nothing in there because we just created it and we would then have to then go publish information uh, to that to that workspace to then start, uh, start using it. You can actually retrieve information from here. So you might have things like content packs or um, which are which are organizationally driven or you, they, you might want to grab content packs which um, sit over SaaS applications so on and so forth. This is where you can actually start doing that. But that's it. That's how you create uh, group workspaces, as easy as that. Uh, and um, you, and uh, you can create as many as you like. Uh, but you know, obviously, I don't think you need to. You, you, you've got a range of different uh, ways that you can find information. And just group workspaces are to be used for uh, securing information from other people who aren't allowed or um, aren't provisioned to look at it.